whether we like it or not, that thing that made us so thick is now of commonality to every corner of the continent. And it's not only this con the, the, in the continent that we will have this challenge. America today, that is the best, biggest consumer of Nigerian crude. You can remember that while in South Africa, Obama was quoted as saying that America no longer needs energy from Africa. And I think it should strike us. You also remember that he was recently again quoted as saying, we have a supply of natural gas that can last America nearly 100 years. And my administration will take every possible action to safely develop this energy. I want also to remind us that between 2005 and 2012, America produces about 2 million barrels per, per day from Shell Oil. And it is estimated that by 2020, they will not only be self-sufficient, they will be in a position to ex export about 10 million, uh, 9 million barrels per day. What is it, the implication for Nigeria? Today, Nigeria is importing 2.5 million tons of milled rice annually. With the projected population growth in 20 years, Nigeria will need 35 million tons of milled rice. So will the country afford importing all this rice? This is why Nigeria needs to invest in agriculture so that Nigerians can feed themselves in 20 years. She's still talking. Even if you continue to have oil, you may not have all the resources to import what will be needed to feed the population. Nigeria needs to put in place not only the infrastructure, road, electricity, but Nigeria needs to invest in agriculture.